Sneaker World Internets. This is a drip ejector with a flavor selective and always with that something South Carolina perspective. Today, we're about to take a look at my top five Nike SBs of 2023. Let's start with five and work our way up to one. All right, coming in at number five, this was tough, tough, tough decision. But I got to put the Uto SB Low at number five. For me personally, it was just giving me the 2004-2005 feeling. Stussy vibes. You see the outsole with the brown and the pink. Hits on the back. This is just a very simplistic but beautiful sneaker. So this is my number five spot. And it was tough because I want to say when these leaked out at first, they was in my top three. But, you know, as the year go on, you get different stuff. And then shoes move from the top five, top ten. So this is number five for me personally. All right, coming in at number four is definitely the Ramelzi SB High for me personally. I mean, this is an art shoe. This is a hip-hop shoe. Ramelzi directly ties to Basquiat. Everything they did from graffiti to just the art world. Then moving into hip-hop, which also ties to Fat Five Freddy, MTV. So if you know, you know. And all the detailing on the sneaker is absolutely insane. Everything means something. All the art pieces and it's a supreme so we got a triple collaboration we got a supreme nike sb and ramelzi collaboration with the gum outsole these is absolutely crazy so this is my number four for 2023 and personally if these would have dropped in 2004 2005 this would easily be a 1200 sneaker just in my personal opinion this is a new Classic, y'all heard it here first. The Ramelzi SB High, number four. All right, coming in at number three. This was a tough decision. The Crenshaw Skate Club SB Low. It's just so many details on this. From the sign that inspired the actual colorway. To the logo hit on the back. Also, actual hidden messaging behind the swoosh, crack leather, just the use of materials, the extra laces. Y'all, this dunk right here is absolutely crazy. And also, Toby did an interview with David Blue Tow. And in that interview, David shouted me out. So I'm biased to this dunk. Is definitely up there. It's a super cool one. And um, y'all, I felt like this shoe right here, it shook the Nike SB world when the official images came out. And these look super nice on feet. So this is my personal top five at number three. It definitely deserves to be in the top five. <sighs> Crenshaw Skate, y'all. All right, coming in at number two is the Harito SB Low. I know, I know a lot of y'all are looking like, where is the review on my page for these? And the reason why I didn't do it, because honestly, I thought I was going to cut away the top layer. And then the more I was seeing images came out of people, pairs that was cut. I got a little confused. I wasn't sure if I wanted to cut my pair because, you know, once you cut it, it's permanently cut. And the shoe looks super clean as is. So I didn't do a review. And as you can see, I didn't cut my pair. But everywhere where this tan color is, which is a hemp material, it can cut away and expose this orange-like color to resemble the soda. And um, y'all, this shoe right here is absolutely amazing. It's simplistic. True, genuine hype. True, genuine hype. This one right here had us SB heads in a twist. Everybody had to have them. I took an L at the skate shop and actually hit these retail off the sneakers out, which is crazy. You know, that's like hitting a lottery. So, y'all, <laughs> the Harito SB. These are insane. And this is 
easily at number two. Arguably some people's number one. And I can respect it, but my number one is just so insane. It shook the entire sneaker community, not just the SB world. So, um, y'all, Haritos at number two. It deserves a spot. Simplistic, but loud. If you got your hands on a pair for retail, salute. This was a difficult pair to get. I want to say maybe the most difficult pair to get for retail in 2023. Now, let's get to one. All right, coming in at the number one spot. Do I even have to say what these is? The SB Jordan 4, the first SB and Jordan 4 in history. The colorway came out super insane. We got the hits of the gum bottom. We got the hit of Nike SB on the back tab. Everything was reworked with the OG 1989 shape. Y'all, this might be the most comfortable Air Jordan 4 in history. We got that red hit, Jumpman on the tongue, Green Flight. They went so crazy on the details. Y'all, this one right here is easily not just SB of the year, but the sneaker of the year, hands down. Nothing came out that shook this sneaker community like this one. It's hands down to number one. And honestly, this might be my favorite shoe in the past three years. Personally, this one right here. I mean, I've seen people bringing their grandmothers, their little sisters, their cousins. Everybody was in the skate shop. I never seeing the crowd that D's brought out. Like, it was absolutely insane. I hit my pair for retail at Blue Tile Skate Shop, so salute to the homies. Y'all, this one right here is crazy. Shouts to everybody that hit on retail. Shouts to everybody that hit on sneakers. This was a crazy shoe right here. So, at number one, well-deserved. The Air Jordan 4 Nike SB. Another thing, too, I want to say this shoe right here in another two to three years is easily going to be at $1,000 dead stop. This is a crazy collaboration. And especially if they start dropping new colorways, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get that brown and white color or maybe a black cat colorway. They keep posting that that might be dropping, but... You never know. Nonetheless, Air Jordan 4, number one. These is my top five Nike SBs of 2023. So until the next episode, peace and love, y'all.